Hello, hello, this is Jennifer Sinceri, and I am a Stamping Up Independent Demonstrator. Happy Friday. It is April 8th, 2022. I'm a few minutes early. I usually come on live on Facebook at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then I repost these videos on my YouTube channel. You can find me at Stamping with Jennifer Sinceri on Facebook or YouTube. And here is my website for those of you that would like to check out what events I have going on. I usually post my in-person classes there and my um, online classes. Hi, Shelly. Happy Friday, friend. Ooh, I am out of breath. I ran up the stairs twice in a row <laughs> because I had to go downstairs and grab something. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, that was quite a workout. <laughs> well, happy Friday, everyone. I have so much to show you tonight. I have five cards that I'm going to make with you. I'm going to show you how to do the baby wipe technique. And I'm going to pull out my Stamparatus a little bit, and it's going to be fun stuff. So there's a couple techniques you'll see tonight. Uh, you'll see me using a couple different tools tonight. Um, and if you are an ocean lover like I am, you're just going to have fun seeing this adorable stamp set. It's called Seize the Day. It is a cling stamp set. There are 11 stamps. It is rubber. Um, actually, I've got every single stamp on a block right now. So <laughs> my, my case is empty. So they are cling rubber stamps. Okay. We've got an adorable jellyfish. We've got two uh, fish facing different directions, the starfish, a little crab, um, an octopus, some seaweed, and then we've got bubbles, and then you've got three different sentiments. I love this stamp set. Sadly, I'm not seeing it in the new annual catalog. So this stamp set is available to, let's see, when I don't know when this catalog expires. It just says June. So I'm thinking the beginning of June. Okay, now it is sold as a bundle. For those of you that like to save uh, a little money, we have bundles in our catalogs and they are 10% discounted. If you are a demonstrator, you get your demonstrator discount plus that 10%, which is always nice. Uh, it comes with dies, okay? And there is this amazing die right here. I've used it, I think, on every card. I love it. So you're gonna see what this looks like. Uh, we have the little octopus to cut out. We've got a lobster that we can cut out. We've got both fish. Then we have this bonus die and it is seaweed. And as you can see, I've used it already. Um, I pulled some different colors and I've even used some of our specialized mother of pearl paper tonight. So you'll see that. We also have another bonus. So you've got another little greenery right here. This is our jellyfish, bubbles, starfish, and there's that second fish hiding, okay? Now, one of the things that I learned tonight, you can, you can cut out uh, bubbles, but also, let me move these to the side, let me move them over here so they don't get lost. When you cut this piece out, you're gonna get all these little circles that cut out, and you can use those for bubbles if you chose to. Okay, I didn't on any of the cards, but I was thinking about that later. I thought, you know, I could have used all those little dots. Okay, Whew. goodness gracious. So let's see, in the mini catalog on page 38, you're going to see the bundle. And there are three samples here that you can use for inspiration. And usually, uh, here's another one here with the die mentioned. 
um, and the greenery dies, but then they used it with Oceanfront, which I did a class on last week. Usually, <clears throat> in the back, we have the bundles again, and so there'll be one more, one more uh, sample with it. Let's see where it is. <laughs> oh, here it is, down here. Okay, so you've got four or more samples with this bundle. All right, I'm going to get started because I've got a lot to show you. Hi, Pam. All right, we're going to start off. <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm just going to apologize. My allergies are kind of crazy. And so I feel like I'm constantly uh, clearing my throat. Not sick, just allergies. So bear with me tonight. I was kind of losing my voice in class today. All right, I need to grab my bone folder here because I want a nice, crisp, uh, burnished crease here. All right, this color is, it's not Bermuda Bay, it is uh, Coastal Cabana. I've used a lot of Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana, and Pool Party tonight. I uh, even pulled a little bit of mint macaron on one of these, um, some soft sea foam. So uh, just letting you know a lot of the colors that we're going to use tonight, okay? Now this card, we're, I'm going to play around and do the baby wipe technique. Have any of you ever done the baby wipe technique before? Give me a little comment uh, to let me know if you've done it before. Now, if you don't have babies, um, or maybe your babies have all grown up, you can go to Dollar Tree and get a package of baby wipes for $1.25 now. Um, I've just put one, and I made sure it was uh, wet because sometimes the Dollar Tree uh, packages, they don't close very well, and so sometimes they dry up. So I just re wet it, wrung it out. It's just a little bit damp. And I'm going to use some reinkers. Now these are what we use to reink our stamp stamp pads, okay? They sell for $3.75. Um with the new annual catalog, they are going to go up in price to I believe $4. All right? So if you do need to um buy a few more reinkers, you want to stock up, you might want to do that before the price increase. All right, so I am pulling some Coastal Cabana, and I'm just going to put a few drops. Not a lot, because I'm just going to use one stamp, and it's a really small surface area. But if you were using a large stamp that took up a lot of space, you would be dropping bits of color all over. But because I am just going to use one of these fish, <clears throat> we're going to make a school of fish tonight. I'm just going to use just a small surface area because I don't really want to waste the ink, right? Now, the nice thing about this, I've got it in one of our cases. I'm going to put a little more of the um, Coastal Cabana in there. I've got one of our little cases here, and you can keep this baby wipe in there. And it'll stay damp for quite a while. So, you know, this isn't going to be totally wasted. You can fall back on it and uh, pull it back out and use it. You can add a little bit more ink to it and revive it. Um, and it will work just fine. Hi, Cynthia. So I am getting ink on my um, stamp. So as you can see, I just tested it out. This is um, a really cool technique. You're just basically mixing those ink colors without damaging your ink pads, okay? Hi, Peggy. Thanks for uh, joining me, ladies. Okay, so here we go. All right, we're just going to put a couple. Well, not a couple. I'm going to fill this whole page with um, my fish, okay? They are a school of fish. All 
What do you guys think? Have you done the baby wipe technique before? And you don't have to do the whole fish. You can, you know, get parts of the fish on there. They don't have to be in perfect lines because fish don't, they don't swim in perfect lines, do they? All right. I'm getting fish fish happy here. Okay, there we go. Isn't that fun? So much fun. Now I'm just going to seal this up and it will keep it will keep wet and then I can just pull this back out and use it again, okay? So let me hold this up to you so you can see that fun color. Isn't that awesome? So super easy. And then you don't mess up your ink pads. Okay, that's called the baby wipe technique. All right, now, where did the rest? Okay, so we are going to put this on a card base. Loving the colors. And then I've got some fun things that we're going to add to this. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. I've got some greenery, some seaweed that we uh, I cut out last night. I've got a sea star or starfish. Uh, Stitch so sweetly dies. Remember I told you these are retiring. I think they're still available. A lot of stuff has sold out. Now we're going to need a sentiment on here. And I've got wishing you oceans of happiness. Thanks from the depths of my heart or seize the day. Um, Peggy, I used Daffodil Delight and Coastal Cabana Reinkers. Okay. And um, as I mentioned, they are $3.75 right now, but these are going up in price to $4 in May with the new catalog. Okay. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to pull... Let's do, maybe let's do a thank you card. We'll do a thank you card. All right, I'm gonna ink up in my Memento Black. Make sure I've got it nicely covered here. I already have inky fingers, inky fingers. So I'm in a super happy, good mood. Guess what? It's officially spring break. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's been a long haul. Long, long haul. So we are on spring break. So I am planning um, to work in my garden. I have not gotten out there yet because we've been windy or cold. And so um, hubby went to the uh, gardening nursery and got some soil to replenish the, I can't think right now, replenish the um, garden beds. And I usually start seeds, but that didn't happen with everything that's been going on lately. And so we're just going to go. I've got a couple gift cards to redeem. My favorite store here local is Green Acres. And it's a um, nursery. And so I'm going to clip this little stem, I think. I've got a couple gift cards to redeem. And I want, I want that to show. If I trim it, if I trim that one, that might work a little bit better. Let's give it a little haircut. I'm just going to trim a piece off. There we go. And then it's not so, not so long because I want to show off those cute fish. Hmm. I'm going to put this here because I'm also going to put this on some Stampin' Dimensionals, okay? 
So let me grab those. So I'm excited. I'm excited to get out in my yard. I'm excited to play in my craft room. I'm excited to sleep in. <laughs> it's nice to be able to wake up leisurely and drink my coffee and not be rushing out the door. So it'll be a fun week. We're probably going to take the family to the ocean for a day. And I think I need to, I don't like the way that looks for some reason. Let's cut that one off. Oh, if I wanted to put more, I could, but I don't know that I need more. I think one is just fine. And then we're going to put our little sea star here. And then we're going to add some um, embellishments. Isn't this adorable, you guys? And it's super, super easy. Actually, let's pull some of this. I should have put that behind her, so I think I'm going to. I'm going to lift that up, and let's add some of this um, linen thread to kind of make, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of the beach. It kind of makes me think of like a natural grasses on, on the beach. I'm just going to um, kind of gather it together. I'm not even going to tie it um, and a bow. I'm just going to add it right here. I need my little U pick tool to kind of help me. And then we'll add this here. I'm hide those ends. So cute. Okay, now I need my my opals. Where did my opals go? Oh, here they are right in front of me. Okay, let's add a couple opal rounds to this. They look like pearls. I need my other package that's got some of the small ones on it. Or does it? I think they're all, yeah, there's a few smaller ones. Okay. You put one right there, and then we need one more because I like to do groups of three. Maybe one right here. Okay, I'm gonna hold that up. What do you guys think? Isn't that super cute? I love these little fish. Okay. Moving on, because I've got five cards tonight. Five cards, and one of them um, I'm super excited about. Uh, so you got to hang to the end. You can't leave me. All right, let's move that out of the way. Next one. Next one. Okay, so for this card, I pulled one of our retiring items. Uh, it's the Rainbow Glimmer paper. Okay, this is retiring, and it's on clearance right now. I want to say, uh, I want to say it's like four something a pack. I can't remember. I think it's four something. It's in the clear. Um, it's not clearance rack. It's actually last chance items or last chance sale. Now I took my Bermuda Bay and I ran this through an embossing folder okay this one is in the annual catalog and I believe this one's carrying over it looks like spackled paint in a way but I was hoping it would kind of look a little bit like water too there's a couple embossing folders that you can use that'll look like water even the timber one uh, would look like water so we're going to add this piece of embossed cardstock okay and I just cut it an eighth of an inch 
smaller. Now this is that die that I was telling you that is gorgeous. Look at this. So see all those little dots, they pop out. So you could have little bubbles if you wanted to use them on another card. All right, now this piece is a pool party. Now that glimmer rainbow paper I used on a die that's a seahorse and these are retiring and I checked last night they are still available um, it goes with this set that's called seascape this um, stamp set and the matching dies are retiring um, and you get the dies are normally $29 they're on sale for $23.20 right now and you get this goldfish or beta fish, you get a piece of coral, you get this gorgeous seahorse, and you get two little fish. Okay? And those dies are on sale, like I said, 23 something. And it goes with this stamp set, which would coordinate really well with this. It just would give you more options. All right? So just throwing that out there. If you uh, love it, you're going to need to get it because, like I said, stuff is selling out super fast. So I'm going to put my seahorse right in the center. He's going to be my focal point of this card. Isn't that beautiful? So let's go ahead and adhere him. And adhere this frame. Oops, sticking to me. And I need some liquid glue. All right, so let's get him sticky so he will stay put. You could run him through with an adhesive sheet if you want. Okay. <clears throat> and where did my tweezers go? Let's grab these tweezers. All right, so we kind of want to put him just right in the middle. All right, let me move that out of the way, and we're going to put this down. And I like that the greenery is not um, flat. I like that it looks like it's floating and moving around. Now I cut some more of that seaweed, but I cut it in old olive. And we're going to just sneak it in here like that. Okay. So let me put a little bit of adhesive down here on the bottom. And I'm just having it, I just tucked it. And I don't know if I need this one, we'll see. Because I don't want to, I think it's too much. I don't want to hide our lovely seahorse. I think I'm just going to stay with one. What do you guys think? I could put some on the outside. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you want the second branch or not? I think it's fine without, but you guys let me know. Any ideas? Shelly says she loves it. Less is best, she says. I kind of agree. I think let's just, I'll save that for another card and we'll call it good. Now, I'm going to add some bling to this. We'll add some of those opal rounds. 
These are carrying over, thankfully. So that'll be nice. We can keep these. I'm just going to scatter them around. Okay, I think three was good. I don't want to go too crazy with it. And then I'm kind of debating, do I want to do a sentiment or not? If I did, I would just put it here. But I don't want to take away from the really pretty front of the card. So I am actually thinking of just not putting a sentiment on the front. Okay. I could add a little linen thread um, bow right there if I wanted to. But I think it's good the way it is. I think I'm just going to leave this one alone. Okay. And let me hold that up so you can see that glimmer. Absolutely. Um, I would put a sentiment on the inside, and I probably would put a little critter stamped on the inside. All right, so if we have time, I'll go back to these, and we'll dress up the insides of the cards. Okay. All right, the next one. The next one. Okay. Um. I wouldn't normally go with these colors, but I wanted to show you that this pack of paper, it's our um, 21 to 23 in color 6x6 six six designer series paper. This is retiring. The colors are not. We're going to get them for one more year, but this paper is retiring, and it's normally sold for $11.50, and it's on uh, sale for $6.90. And you get... 40 sheets of paper. Okay, so that's a pretty good deal. So I thought I would use the soft succulent. All right, and this is um, Evening Evergreen. It's a darker color, a darker card, I should say. Um, but I think it could still work. Now, this is um, printed, but what we're going to do is stamp on it. And so I'm going to take this seaweed and... Oh, I guess I forgot to grab my Evening Evergreen ink. Wouldn't you know that? I grabbed everything else except that one. But So we will, we will improvise. We will pull some of the soft succulent if it's up here. I really don't want to run down the stairs again. <laughs> okay, we'll use this one. We'll use the soft succulent. So the last one we did was um, dry embossing, and now we're just going to use some designer series paper, okay? And so I am just going to stamp full strength ink, because I want it a little bit darker. On here. I can hear a kitty cat on the other side getting into stuff. Naughty, naughty. I'm going to go a little higher on this one. Okay, I know that's um, empty space there, but it's not going to show. I don't think it will show. Let's check. Yeah, it's not going to show. Okay. All right, so then what we're going to do, that's going to go on there, and we're going to pop these cuties on here, I've got a little crab and we've got some fish that we're going to put on here and we're going to pop those with dimensionals. Um, and then we're also going to add some sequins on here. I got so excited, I almost made a shaker card tonight. Um, but I think that's going to be another day because that's a whole video in itself showing you how to make a shaker card. So I think I'll do that in another video. I am on spring break, so I might do some extra videos this week. Who knows? Okay. I'm not quite finished playing with this stamp set. I really love it. So... Uh, like I said, this one's available to the beginning of June. 
Hi, Gail. All right, so I'm going to place this right on top of that designer series paper. All right, now let's grab our dimensionals and then we're going to add in some sequins here. Where did my dimensionals go? There they are, they're hiding. Hmm. All right, let's put our, our crab right there. And then, oops, I totally mutilated that one. Okay. And he's sticking to me. Come on. We don't want to put him on upside down. Okay, we'll put him here. That looks good. And then, what are you not getting rid of, Shelly? What are you not, um, your stamp set? This one? No, I'm not either. I love it too much. I'm not going to sell it. <laughs> I love it too much. All right, now, um, in the new annual catalog, there are going to be some really cool containers of sequin, um, sequins or no, I don't know if they're sequins. They're like shapes for shaker cards. Like little, they look like little beads and whatnot. Um, so that would be really cool for shaker cards, but it, it, I started looking in my stash. I have a container here. These are retired. Um, these went with the whale of a time, um, sweet when that came out and this is my last container of these so any little sequins would work with this but what I wanted to show you is I use this end a lot and you've seen me use my spatula a few times to pull things off but you haven't seen me use my putty so I want to see if I can get it to start I don't know if I can get it to Let's see if I can get it to start here. I was hoping. I can't seem to get it to come out. Oh, poop. I don't know if I'm not doing it. So I think I'm supposed to have something in there. I'm gonna have to go look this up because I just ordered a refill and I'm wondering if I threw a piece out by accident. What do you think, Shelly? Am I supposed to have, I think I'm supposed to have another piece in there. I'm gonna have to go look. Well, that isn't gonna work. So I guess what we're gonna do is use our glue. I bet you I threw the piece away by accident. All right, so if you don't have the really cool tool, just use your liquid glue. And we're going to add some sparkle here and there. All right, I'll start with that and we'll see if we want to add some more. All right, so I think I'm just going to lick my finger there, pull some out, because I wanted to use my putty end. So sorry guys. Fail. All right. No, I don't want that color because that's too much like the designer series paper. Let's pull this one. A little shell. <laughs> You're constantly misplacing yours. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to maybe, I don't know, I'm going to have to find out. I seem to have lost a piece in it. Um, it's funny because my original piece, the putty, kept coming out when I didn't want it to come out. I was probably moving it, not realizing I was moving it. And 
I was going to replace it and I think I threw something out. So I'm going to have to investigate that and I'll, guy, I'll get back to you guys on this because now I'm like uh, curious. <laughs> it's not too bad. I'm making it work. Let's get another blue on here. But that putty would make it super easy, you guys. I've used it before and it's super easy with sequins. The sequins, when we sell them, are very economical. You get so many pieces for your money. Um, and so the putty really makes it easy to get them out. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, I should probably do one more to make it an odd number. But that one doesn't want to get off my finger. Um, let's go for another dark green, maybe. I don't know. We got static on my nails. There we go. put all right now you have room that you could add a sentiment on here I need to let my sequins dry before I do that um, you could also add in more seaweed which I might be able to do I trim a little bit I don't know that I like that color with it though Let's move this um, no it looks like there's a backing on there come on come on work with me here all right I don't know what's going on with that one let's get a new one Pretty. And those sequins really sparkle and shine, so it just adds a fun element to it. Okay, I bet some of you have retired um, sequins in your stash somewhere to pull out. Okay, next card. Next card, we're going to do a different orientation. All right, and I'm going to pull my Stamparatus for this one. How many of you have a Stamparatus or something similar? It comes with two um, panels, all right? And you get two magnets. Um, it has a little foam pad here, and then I'm using the grid paper that we sell. And I pulled the stamp in the annual catalog that is a background stamp, and it's waves or the ocean. It's right here. It's on page 45 in the mini catalog right here, Gentle Waves. It's a background stamp. So here's another option. We've done DSP, we've done dry embossing, and now we're going to use a background stamp. Okay? Um, and I am going to use a piece of, I think this is mint macaron, but on my card I'm going to use pool party. Alright, I pre-stamped it just so I would have it done in case I made a boo-boo. Now I'm going to pull Bermuda Bay. And when I have big background stamps like this, I put it where I want it. I, I eyeball to make sure that my, I gotta move this, that my 
Oops. Oh, great. I move those now. Um, I want to make sure that my paper is going to be where I want it. And I am just going to ink this up. Get it nice and covered. And the grid paper helps protect my mat so I don't have to worry about getting ink on it. And then I just close it and press. Let me move that so you can see it a little bit better. I'm just pressing and then voila. Okay, there's our waves. Now I didn't have it in the right spot because my magnets um, clunked. So I have to fix that. But if I messed up, what I could do is I just re-ink it and you put it back in the same spot and you wouldn't have your mistake. Okay, but I'm looking to see looks like I'm right on the edge of where um, the lip is of the stamp. So that was my fault. These are really nice. I'll do it again. These are really nice for when you're doing like an assembly line and you have a lot of cards to do. Or if stamping is a little harder for you because maybe you have arthritis in your hand, maybe your hands shake, this helps you with that because, um, let me move it down a little bit. You can re-stamp it. Your um, paper isn't going to move because you'd have your magnets there, but mine um, are stuck together. <laughs> um, so you could just redo it. There we go. And then... You wouldn't have to worry about it not lining up. Stamparatus is awesome. I love to use it for when I'm on an assembly line and I've got to do a lot of stamping, okay? So I'm gonna move this. All right. So we've got some waves. And lots of little pieces, lots of critters that we're going to use on this one. So just another option. Okay, and I cut this a little bit shorter. We're going to make this card, like I said, landscape this time. All right, and we've got the waves behind our really pretty die. So let's glue this down. And I cut it a little bit short. I was just using up a scrap because you're not going to see it with this on top. You're not, you're not going to tell. You're not going to be able to tell. All right, the last card is the one I'm super excited about. I don't know. It was just super fun to make. Now this one I cut just an eighth of an inch um, narrower, okay? And I don't mind that the seaweed is floating. I, I personally like that. Okay, I've cut one of the seaweed out with um, the Mother of Pearl designer, well, specialty paper, I should say. Mother of Pearl specialty paper. And if I just move it a certain way, you can see that it's got this sheen to it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It looks a little bit like, um, I can't describe it, like a prism a little bit. And I don't know if I want this one or not. We'll see. We will see. I think I'm going to trim because those stems are a bit long. I don't need them. And I got to make sure that when I put this in an envelope, it's going to close. So see how that's off the card? 
probably need to move it down a little bit. I don't know that I want to. I think it's too much. Let's just go with the one. We've got those little pieces that we'll, we'll add. So let me put this down and that'll make it a lot easier to do our other parts. Okay, almost done. Almost done. How are we doing on time? It's about 6.40. Okay. Put that one back here. All right. Now, I do have a sentiment for this one if we want to do it. But I don't know. It kind of takes away from the scene. So I don't know. We'll see. All right. I've got an octopus that I could put on this one if we want. Um, I've got a jellyfish. I was just going to see what we liked. I could put the jellyfish up there. I could put the sea star there. I almost said seahorse. And these are all going to be popped up with dimensionals. So what do you guys like? Do you like the jellyfish or do you like the octopus? Which one do you like? If we do the octopus, I'm going to move him over here. I think. Or look, I could fit them all on there, but that's quite a lot. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you like. All of it, or should I take some of it away? What do you guys think? Shelly says she kind of likes it all. I kind of do too, Shelly. I like all the critters. All right, where am I? Right in front of me. I think we'll try and put them all in. Just, just for a change here. They're so cute. I'm not a huge octopus fan, but this one is adorable. Super cute. And I kind of want to show some of those bubbles, so I'm just kind of strategically moving him or her so that we can see those bubbles. Come on, there we go. And these colors just are so perfect, aren't they? I love the colors. I don't think I'm going to have room for my little crab, but that's okay. All right, now the uh, we could go with opal rounds, but for something a little different and just to show you, I thought I would pull the um, uh, elegant faceted gems, okay? 
they're really sparkly and so I thought I would add those on here for just a change so you could see what you know which one you like better So I'll add a couple of those on here because I used some pastel colors and these are um, they've got the rhinestone opalescent look to them so they they look a little purple and they look a little pink let's put a big one right here let's use a little one and then we'll do maybe that one. Kind of too. I don't like that there. Let's put it. No. Nope, maybe there. Okay. So something a little bit different. Isn't that cute? I'm really loving this set. All right, I did have, I had a sentiment. I'm not gonna add it in here because there's no room. I filled it all up. But you could just strategically move your little sea creatures around and put something there. Or you could stamp it on the background. But I really love all of these cute critters and I wanted to add them in. Okay, last card last card okay I'm gonna do a little stamping with you um, a lot of times I pre stamp things just to save time but I wanted um, to just show you how fun it is we're gonna just create like a little aquarium look here so let me grab a piece of paper and I am going to need some mint macaron on this one. Okay, whoops. And we're gonna pull that seaweed. Let me just move my chair so I've got, I'm not constantly hitting it with myself. All right, so we're gonna go full strength. I wanna make sure you guys can see. Full strength. And then not full strength going to restamp it so see how it's lighter can you guys see that okay and then we'll do full strength again and not and then we'll do full strength and I'm gonna go a little taller so I'm just building an aquarium scene I'm kind of feeling like I'm at the Monterey Bay Aquarium here all right, now also, I'm gonna add bubbles on here, but we'll save that for last. Now we're gonna put um, some fish in here. We're gonna do a jellyfish. We'll do the jellyfish in Fresh Freesia. One of my favorite displays at the Monterey Bay Aquarium is the jellyfish. But before I get carried away, because I already am, I need to put my sentiment in here. Because if I don't have, if I stamp on everything, I won't have room for my sentiment. So let me just do that really quick. Okay. All right. All right, let's get our jellyfish in here and then we're going to add our fish and where there's my other one. Oh, my other one I need to wipe off because he's got <clears throat> um, baby tech baby wipe technique ink on him and we don't want to mix inks all right, so here's our pale papaya. And we're just gonna make a school of fish. And we're gonna have some at different um, ink strengths. We're 
gonna grab the other one. We're gonna have a couple going the other direction. And we'll do like, okay. I want a lighter one. Let's do a lighter one there. Okay. And then let's get our bubbles in here. And we're going to go back in with our mint with the bubbles. We'll just add those bubbles here and there. Kind of go crazy with the bubbles, all right? There we go. I tried not to get them on the fish. All right, so that's my aquarium um, scene. And now we're gonna start building our card. Now this one, I'm just gonna open this way. Top fold. Okay, and this is gonna go down. I know this looks kind of ordinary. Just wait. This card was the one that was making me think, oh, I could have done a shaker card tonight. So what I did was I took that uh, die and I ran the die through an embossing folder. I actually did the Tasteful Textures one on this one and I think that one's retiring. Okay, but I just wanted to add a little texture to it. You could use whatever you have that you like and then what I also did was uh, I took a window sheet and I ran that, and I don't know that you can see this. I ran it, can you see the texture on it? I ran it through my embossing folder also. Can you guys see the texture? I don't know if I need to put it on. Um, there, maybe you can see it a little bit. There's texture on it. You'll just have to take my word for it. So I ran this through an embossing folder and I'm gonna lay this on top and it, I just felt like it made it look wet. Can you see that? Can you see how it shines now? So I'm gonna glue that on. I don't know, it's the simple things that make me happy, you guys. I'm, I'm pretty easy to please. Maybe it's not a big deal to you, but I was like, oh, this is so cool. Okay, so I just, it's a little bit smaller and that's fine because this is gonna get um, covered up with my dye. So it just looks, it kind of looks wet to me. And then we're gonna place this on top. Now, unfortunately, I'm not gonna see all of my, um, jellyfish but that's okay that's all right it's an aquarium so when the critters are swimming around you don't get to see all of them right sometimes they're out of view that's just life oops oops okay but I could definitely see a shaker card with this so I'm gonna have to try it and then I will play with, I'll play with it and show you guys. Yeah, I've never run a window sheet through an embossing folder before, but I was like, hmm, let's see what that's like. And it just gives it a little texture. It looks a little different. I know it's really hard to see with the camera. I'm gonna move the light a little bit and see if you can see. You get this shine, but you also get texture. All right, let's add my mother of pearl. And I just felt like it looked wet, like it's an aquarium. All right. 
Now I ran a couple of those leaves um, that match and it blends in, but that's okay. You could go with a different color, but I just kind of, I wanted the shapes and the embossing to show the texture. All right, then what I did was I stamped a few more of our fish and these I'm going to pop up with dimensionals. Okay, so I might pop that one up. Um, so he's a little 3D. Let's see. Do I have... I guess I don't have one going the other direction. So I guess I could put a couple on the outside or I could put one right here. Ooh, let's do that. I can't get my fingernails to work for me tonight. All right, let's see. Maybe we'll put, I was going to place it on top, but I think we'll just pop a few outside like this. put one in the seaweed. They like to hide in seaweed. Now I'm going to add these uh, beautiful uh, elegant faceted gems and we're going to put some of these on here. Which I feel like just really complements with the mother of pearl specialty paper. One, two, three, four. Let's do a medium one with that one. Five. Something different. I kind of like how it's shiny and has the texture to it. All right, it is seven o'clock. So I'm going to do my inside of my cards on my own and then I'll post them. So we made five cards tonight. Every single one is different. So this one we um, stamped on paper and created a scene and then I texturized the outside die and a window sheet. This one we dry embossed the background. This one we stamped on designer series paper this one, we stamped the background, again, using a background stamp. And then I played around with the baby wipe technique and did this one for you. All right, so we've got lots of different ways that you can play with this stamp set. So many possibilities. I loved it. I had a lot of fun playing with this set. Okay. Um, I think next week is Grassy Grove. So I'm going to have to get in the mood. I've been in an ocean mood lately. Um, so I'm going to have to get in a grovey meadow mood <laughs> for next week. But if, if uh, time allows, I am going to try and come on um, here and there, probably just as time permits with um, me being on spring break, and I'll do a couple bonus videos, perhaps. I would uh, try and do that shaker card for you guys, so be on the lookout for that. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you've been inspired, um, and I will see you for sure next Friday, okay? All right, everyone, have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you soon, okay? Bye-bye.